Greetings, Zero here, and welcome back to the Liquid Crystal Fairy Pseudomaw type. Last time, I showed you all some stuff you can get in previously visited areas with Surf. Off camera, I did a little more grinding with some fampy in my party using Pickup to make some more money. This will come in handy later. Anyways, on to All Vine City. Now, many people playing regular Gen 2 would go on to, well, the Rocket Hideout at this point. Well, you don't actually have that choice. Not in this hack. This hack railroads you into going in the direction that, basically, Game Freak wants you to. Because, of course, it's going to railroad you, just like it's all been doing all along. Okay. Well, hold on to you. Nice try. There's this guy, who in regular Crystal version, if you call, occasionally he will call you and I think he gives you like a leaf stone or something. But, not so in this hack. And here's where, if you were playing Hard Gold and Soul Silver, you would meet Balba, the Warden of the Safari Zone. But, rather than Hard Gold and Soul Silver, where the Safari Zone is in Johto, it's actually, well, the new Safari Zone is in the Orange Islands. We'll go visit that later. Alright, so first things first, we need to go talk to this guy, let him know Miltank is sick. And now you can go and give Miltank a bunch of Oron Berries. And health is fully restored. Now with that done, you talk to this guy. And he'll only sell it to you once a day, I think. There's some hidden items here as well. A nugget? I think that's it. Now let's continue on down south. Oh, I missed an item. Let's go get that real quick. Oh, I need to go and get something that has cut. In case it bears saying again, I hate HMs. And I hate having to waste boo slots on them. Considering that most of them are utter shit. In my pure green playthrough, well, HMs are reworked to actually be pretty decent moves. And you're not stuck with them. You can overwrite them anywhere you want. Berry juice, that's uh, basically a potion. Occasionally, you have a shuckle and it... Wow, that grows back fast. If you have a shuckle and... Uh, he eats an Oron Berry, occasionally it'll produce Berry Juice. I actually found a shiny sh Shuckle in uh, one of my playthroughs of this. I think I did Dark Monotype is when I found it. Okay. What's the point of having Fire-type attacks if it's always going to be fucking raining? God, this is annoying. As, I may, as I've joked in a previous episode, this hack is, at, is not set in, in Johto, it's actually set in Seattle, Washington, I'm pretty sure. Or the United Kingdom. Oh, this guy had a bad run-in with Silver. Sucks to be him. We'll put your Pokemon out of their misery. Nah, let's put you up front for now. And by the way, if you do show up after dark, nothing happens.
Finally, it stops raining. Hi, Silver. I'm stuck mid-run. <laughs> it's like that meme. Of a still shot of, like, Patrick Starr in the middle of a... Walking into the Krusty Krab with a goofy-ass smile on his face. that That's what just happened. Teal. Now, of course, in here, you get the guy that gives you strength, but that's not all. This guy is a move tutor. He'll teach your Pokémon overheats. Now, of course, I can only use it once, and uh, we're not going to use it yet. I may use it eventually, I just don't know if I will. But now, we need to get ourselves... Yeah, I, uh, got a lot of, like, nuggets and shit like that and sold that. Pickup is OP. And we are gonna get a fuck ton of super repels. That way I will never be bothered by Tentacool again. Oh, and in here, this guy gives you the good rod. Up here is a guy who will trade you for a, uh, a Voltorb if you give him a Krabby. That's to check his name is Billy. Although, it's kind of redundant because, well... The problem is... You can get Electrode in the Rocka Hideout before long. Hi, Axel! We're not battling him yet, but we will. So let's go up to the Lighthouse. Okay, you know what? We'll just roll out. And yes, my zoom roll special attack is actually much higher than its physical attack, so I'm most likely going to set it up as a mixed attacker. Probably with Surf, Waterfall, Roll Out, and then either Ice Punch or Ice Beam, because you can get Ice Beam, Thunderbolt, and Flamethrower, but it's via Move Tutor who only shows up on a certain day of the week, and you have to give him Game Horror Coins, because he's a, he's a gambling addict. I think it's Bill's dad or something like that. Oh, this guy sells Sunstones. Okay, TM34, Swagger. That might come in handy. We'll see. Fall down here. Now we need to go over this way. Ambush. Denied. Isn't either. This way. We talk to this guy. Double edge. Now, defense curl can actually boost roll out, but frankly, I figure wasting the turn isn't worth it. We'll take double edge. That could be helpful. Like right now! Another super repel, so now I'm up to a hundred of the damn things. And now, over here, well, we'll go talk to Ampy in a sec. Just wanted this item over here. This is a Hyper Potion. Could be useful. And we'll be doing that before too long. So let's go back to Pokemon Center real quick. Okay, so you may wonder, why did I just evolve Totodile? Now, no, I did not use it in battle. I immediately swapped it out and just experience that way? Well, the answer is very simple. 
Totodile can't learn strength, and I'm pretty sure Croconaw can, so we'll let it be a more efficient HM slave. Because I don't want to have to waste another slot on my team just for strength. Now if that's done, we can move on. Back to the Pokemon Center for a sec. Going back this way now, there's actually a couple of trainers over here that we can battle. Nope. Nice try. Nice try. I think that's everything over here. Yep. Now it's time to finally explore the waters off of South Western Johto. See what they have to offer me. There's a bunch of trainers out here we can battle, and the level curve is actually steeper than vanilla by a fair bit. So, it'll start to get steeper. Just trust me on it. And, uh, I figure I might as well do a little bit of training while I'm out here. Now, Outskirt Island. This right here is a rather important location. And there should be a emphasis on should be a trio of pedestals here. If you have the three flutes, the blue flute, yellow flute, red flute, you can put them on here. And in the... Well, after you complete the third act of the game, it'll make the legendary birds appear. Or, well, it'll unlock the way for you to get the legendary birds, rather. But... Because this hack is janky as fuck, sometimes the pedestal doesn't appear at all. But besides that, you can also find, like, Wild Linoon here, for example. So, uh, let's see if I can find one. Because Linoon is actually an even better HM slave than Croconaw, because it also has pickup. There we go. Come on, get in the ball, get in the ball. There we go. So yeah, meet Striper 3. I think this is just going to be a tradition now. If I get myself a line noon, I'm going to just call it Striper, then a number. Now you may think, we're just going to go to all go to Siangwood City now. Well, no, there's actually some other stuff we could do. Now, that way is actually the Battle Tower. We'll just go and take a look at it real quick. This was an area that many people didn't even pay attention to in Gen 2. And, uh, I believe in the Japanese version, it was actually locked behind in a mystery gift or something? But in the Western release, you could just go here. And there's no reason for me to really come here. I just wanted to show you guys this. It's kind of cool. Okay, we're actually going to battle this guy real quick. Now we need to go this way. Actually, first let's go down here. We're going to switch over to you, because this guy's a relic ant. Now we're going to go back up this way.
No. Yes, he's doing a round model type as well, so yeah, that's cool. Like, I had to prove anything to you. Energy powder, it's basically a cheaper super potion that makes your Pokemon dislike you if you use it, or like you less, I suppose. And here's Hollow Cave. Now, Hollow Cave is a bit of a puzzle. You see those, these pits here? You walk on it, and you fall through. Now, to actually unlock the secret, you have to find all the pits and fall through all of them. No particular order, just do it. Great ball, nice. Okay, so max elixir. Very easy to get turned around in this cave. There's a lot of items in here too. Oh, there's one. Okay, so it's down there. heal. Nice. We'll get this. Paralyze heal. Could be more of them over here. Calcium. Nice. Fall down here. And then there's not... There might only be one more. One or two. There's a couple of them. Okay. I know. Really exciting having to watch it constantly fall down holes, right? Now, let's... Let's go and see if that actually unlocked the, uh, secret. Yeah, it did! Yeah, there's Braille over there that would tell you that you need to fall down all the holes. But, you do that, go in here, and this is where you get the Yellow Flute! Now we need to actually get out of here. Go this way, take the ladder up. Nope. And now we go out this way. And over here, you get a twisted spoon, that's nice. I might give that to Garvor later, I don't know. And also, the wild Pokemon here is significantly stronger than they are on the other part of the ground. But, I'm just gonna use the repel so I can get through this quickly. You can surf, and nothing over there. But up here, there's a hidden item. Back here is a Soul Dew. Now that boosts the power of moves used by Latios or Latias. And, uh, well, you'll get those before too long. Well, one of them anyway. And there's a TM for Iron Tail. No need to beat Jasmine to get it. Chain the Iron Tail only hits three quarters of the time, so it's shit. 
And you can walk here and go behind the farmhouse. And back down to Olivine City. And I think that's going to be it for this time, ladies and gentlemen. Like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, check out my Rumble page, and I will catch you all next time.